Okay, in our last web banner animation um, that we did, we created this animation, this little banner ad, where the text comes out, and then we have some motion tweening happen. This fish comes out and swims across the banner, and then does a turn and swims back. But it would be much cooler if the fish had some air bubbles coming out of its gills or something like that, right? Some little uh, air bubbles popping out. So like a secondary animation would make it better. So that's what we're going to do right now. And I started to do that already. I want to show you what I have. I've got um, um, an animation. You can see here I've got these little air bubbles that are starting to come out. So now as he swims across the screen, you can see these bubbles coming out, right? and I haven't finished it yet of course they're orange and I'm gonna change that color but I'm halfway done so before I get too far along I kinda wanted to show you how I got what I got and let's do it together so I'm gonna open up uh, flash banner example 3 and you'll see I have the um, fish swimming across here and there's a motion path and we're gonna now create the secondary animation the bubbles so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to window library and you'll see I have the fish here. I'm going to double click on the little symbol of the fish and now I'm in the fish movie clip. So now I'm editing the fish movie clip. And what I want to do is on this layer I have the fish and then I'm going to make a new layer by clicking on this button right here, new layer, and this is where the first bubble will go. Okay, so that's where that first bubble is going to go is on this new layer. But on that new layer um, it's going to need to be a movie clip animation. It's going to need to be a, uh, a movie clip animation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say insert new symbol, right? And I'll call it bubble, all right? Movie clip. So now I've created a movie clip called bubble and I'll get my circle tool and I will draw a little circle. Okay, there's my little circle. And this circle is a shape and what I want to do is I want to tween this shape I want to make this shape tween up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this shape that I just made and I'm also gonna turn that into a movie clip modify convert to symbol and I'll call this bubble graphic but I'm gonna make it a movie clip also I could change it and make it a graphic if I wanted to but I'll just leave it as a movie clip notice the registration point here I've put into the center so you can move the registration point by clicking on these little anchor points here and I'm gonna put it in the center and click OK so now inside of the bubble movie clip is uh, a circle that's also a movie clip and I will insert motion tween and it automatically creates keyframes here at the top, 15 keyframes of a motion tween. So now all I have to do, it's really easy, I'm going to hold down my space bar and move the window down, is just grab the circle and drag it up. And automatically the tween happens from frame 1 to 15, there's this like 1 to 15 um, tween that happens right here, right? I can drag this out longer to slow it down, I'm going to drag it out to let's say 25, so now it will be a slower animation. Okay. Um, also, I can just take my cursor and go right up to this motion guide and curve it. And what I want to do is, right now, it's animating and curving, right? But what I think I want to do is I want to make it animate on an S-curve. So I'm going to put the cursor where the circle is about two-thirds of the way on the motion path. And then I'm going to right-click right on that um, frame and go Insert Keyframe Position and then drag the circle over and now it kind of creates like a a little um, S-curve so now when you play the animation it has this kind of S-curve action that happens and then I can even let's see if I can even move that I'm not sure nope can't move it but it's an S-curve right so that looks pretty good All right let's see that oh yeah look at that bubble so now um, I've got this bubble animation in the bubble movie clip. Inside the bubble movie clip is this, I'm going to get the property, another movie clip called bubble graphic that is tweening across. So now go back to scene one and what I'll do is go to my library, window, library. 
I'm going to go into my fish movie clip. So I double click on the symbol next to the fish movie clip, right? And I've got my layer set up for bubble. So all I need to do is go to my library and drag the bubble movie clip, not bubble graphic, which is inside of bubble, but the bubble movie clip. I'm going to just drag it and drop it on this new layer that I created. I'll drop it like right, let's say here. Okay, there it is, right? Now it's kind of a it's kind of a big bubble. Um, if I wanted to make it smaller, well, I'll talk about that later. But there it is. There's the bubble. So now, if I hit Control Enter, we'll see what happens. There's the fish, and there's the bubble animating, right? Right out of the secondary animation happening from within the fish movie clip, the bubble movie clip plays also. So that's pretty cool. All right, I need to make it a little bit smaller. So Control L to open up there. And I'm going to double click on bubble graphic, right? And I'm going to make this a little smaller. So I'll zoom in on it and get my transform tool and hold down the shift key to make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Center it. All right. And I might even change the color now. I could take the color orange and change that to white. Okay. I could change this um, green color for the, the stroke and change that to gray. And now let's see how that works. See, there's the, you can barely see it now, the, the, um, the bubble, but it's still pretty good is pretty good it's a little more subtle right and I can even do some other things to it which I'll do for in a bit but right now I'll go back to scene one and there's my fish movie clip with my bubble inside of it I'm gonna open up control L open up fish again get my regular selection tool and I'm gonna add more bubbles now and show you how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to do that in another movie so my audio doesn't get all out of whack.